65% hydration, 75% hydration, 85% hydration, and 100% hydration. Stick it all. Watch this video because we are going to see all of these differences in depth hydration. Hello guys from my studio Copelli. Let's start this video really quick. Like you can see, boom, 65, 75, 85, 100. Look at this, 65%, 75%, 85%, and 100%. Look at this. What? Wait until the end because that, we're going, this is crazy what is coming out, insane. We got all the explanation. So it took me one all day, actually, two days, because you understand this in the, later on today, to make this fantastic video. And uh, hopefully this video is going to answer to all of your questions. We are going to see how the dough will react, how to handle it, how to make it, all the rest with everything is in this video. So go ahead, please share, watch the video because it's important and smash the like, comment because I watch all of your comments. So let's go ahead and let's start from the beginning. And thank you so much for your time. Okay, we are ready to go ahead and make all these uh, recipes. So guys, pay attention on the details because uh, this is super important. Like we say, 16, 75, 85, 100, we need to use a really strong flour. So how do you know that? When you buy a flour, you have to know how strong is the flour. So you have to search for the W of the flour. It says on the back of the flour. If it doesn't say that on the back, go ahead and search online. The higher is the number, the stronger is the flour. So here we're using a zero flour with the W of 320. But on the 85 and the 100% hydration, we are using a small percentage of Manitoba flour, which is 480 W. And then on the 100%, we are using 80% of Manitoba. We have to use 200 grams of Polish. The Polish is made with 100 grams of water, 100 grams of flour, 5 grams of yeast and 5 grams of honey. Okay, for now, let's move everything right here and let's get the polish. This way we have all the recipe done and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and make the dough. So let's grab 200 grams. We need to be super precise, eh? otherwise we're gonna change the hydration. Here we go. Now that we have uh, the polish, all the recipe, let's go ahead and let's start with 65% of hydration. So guys, I wanna start to say that to be able to build uh, uh, the gluten, especially when it's a uh, dough really high hydrated, you have to have a mixer. In this case, we are using an authentic mixer, which is my brand. You can check out the link below. So let's go ahead and let's start the 65%. We're gonna add the 365 grams of uh, zero flour. Let's make sure we add the all polish. Go ahead, speed number one, and then turn it on the mixer. We wait the, the dough starts to get all together and we add half amount of the water. Once everything is uh, incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and add more water, just save about 50 grams of water. And now we can go ahead and add the nine grams of uh, salt. So 65% of hydration, the pizza you can see is super easy to stretch, very easy. You can also a little bit fly the pizza but uh, you have to be gentle, easily to put the ingredients on top and then uh, because the pizza doesn't stick on the floor and then you can put it on top of the peel super easy and then comes out from the peel even easier. And like you can see, the crust is not super puffy and then the air packets inside are a little bit smaller compared to the other one. We made the 65% of hydration because uh, uh, that it takes much more time to grow. So like you can see here, I put uh, on the board here the timing. So 65% takes about four hours to grow, 75% two hour and a half, 85% one hour and a half, and then 100% one hour. Okay, like you can see, the dough is uh, ready. It's super uh, strong because we used uh, a mixer that of course builds the, the gluten much more, more stronger. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make the ball. 65% is super easy to work. Like you can see, it's uh, nice. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, let it rest here for about uh, 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and let's start 75%. Same way, 302 grams of uh, flour in the mixer, the, the old polish, voila, polish is inside, same way. Turn it on the mixer, speed number one, half amount of the water. And then things here is gonna get start to get a little bit more complicated. At this point, the dough 
got incorporated with the water, let's go ahead and let's add 10 grams of salt. You'll notice that the more we increase the hydration, the longest it's gonna take to make the dough, and that's completely normal. 70% is my favorite, but 75% is also really good because as, uh, like you can see, it's strong, easy to stretch. When you put the dough on the peel, it's easy to work, and not super, uh, not super hard, and not super soft. It's like at the perfect point, and then it cooks super well, even in an electric oven, and then uh, you get the perfect texture of soft and crunchy. Uh, we just finish up the water, and then uh, we speed up the machine at the max speed, because uh, the more it's hydrated, the more sticky it will be. And that's why you need a, a mixer, otherwise uh, forget about it. Okay, perfect dough. It's, uh, uh, it's also built properly, so let's go ahead and olive oil in your hands. And then we put it on the on the floor here, on the counter. So the more we are going now, the more it's going to be sticky. The dough machine, it's clean. And then let's go ahead, in this case, let's make the ball. Done. Put it right there, close it, and same way. It's a little rest, about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. So we're going to get all together at the same time. Here we go. Things getting more interesting. Let's start with the 85%. 254 grams of flour mixed with uh, Manitoba, keep in mind that. Then we add the old Polish. Pit number one gets all together with half amount of the water. Now let's go ahead and let's add the salt. Same time, let's add a little bit of uh, more water and speed up the dough, mach the dough machine for number five. Pay attention guys, in this case, we're gonna go really, really easy with the water. If you put the water too fast, it's gonna be super hard to get the 85%. So, like you can see here, we are getting the things a little bit more complicated. When you stretch this dough, you'll see that it's really sticky, so you definitely need a lot of flour to stretch. And then, you have to make the pizza smaller and then add the toppings. And then, you can see, when you put it on top of the peel, it's a uh, you have to get the dough on top of the peel and then you make it bigger. And super fast, you're gonna go ahead and put it in the, uh, in the oven. In this case, this, the more it's hydrated, the more better cooks the pizza. And the 85%, you can see that it's got much more air inside because of course the water inside the dough gets evaporated and then creates those uh, nice big air pockets. And this pizza, it's super soft very not super crunchy or not crunchy and soft at the same time especially if you wait about five minutes the pizza becomes all soft which i don't really like it okay like you can see here we had a little bit of uh, trouble we speed up the dough mixer at the max speed the secret here is to not get the dough really warm so that's why we need a super cold water olive oil on your hands and uh, three two one boom thanks to this authentic mixer here, we are able to build the, the gluten structure really strong. Like you can see, it's like almost like glue. Can't wait to make the 100%. Here we go. Like you can see here, inside the mixer here is still clean. That means that we build the gluten really strong. So all of on your hands, guys, pay attention. You have to be quick in this case. Try to create the ball really quick. And 85%, it's almost ready. So in this case, we're gonna wait about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's go ahead, let's make the 100%. And the moment of the truth, 100%. Is this dough machine able to make 100%? We'll see. Let's add 200 grams of Manitoba flour and the 200 grams of Polish. Let's put it together super slow. F amount of the water. Well, in this case, we're gonna put a little bit less than F. Otherwise, adios amigos. So, let's wait. Speed up a little bit more than the, the others. In this case, let's go ahead and right away, let's put the salt. Try to put it on top of the dough, little by little. Let me explain you something. Why it's so important to go high hydration or why people do it? High hydration, it's uh, high digestible because uh, the more is the water, the less gluten, the less uh, carbs, you know, all these things makes the pizza much more uh, easy to digest. So that's the reason. Pay attention to this dough. Let's go ahead and let's put a uh, little more water. And at the same time, I'm, I'm uh, speeding up the mixer in the same way I'm putting the water. 
subscribe at this point and share this video. It's super important for me that you watch until the end. We still have about 100 grams of water in the dough. It looks way super sticky to me. Hopefully we are able to make a pizza, a regular Neapolitan pizza with 100%. Okay guys, we are about to be done with the water and then we are adding more. So we are right now at probably 95% of hydration. The dough mixer is handling the dough really, really well. I'm super surprised. A max speed like uh, the Formula 1 here because 100% it's not easy at all but thanks to the cold water thanks to the Manitoba flour and also of course thanks to this uh, authentical mixer the last final one let's see if this mixer is gonna happen let's see the final water done let's see if this mixer is gonna handle the mixer at the door let's see come on come on you can do it Come on, can do it. We are waiting that the dough gets detached from the mixer. Let's see. So we're gonna wait uh, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Woo. I think it come out well. Look at this. It's super sticky. Olive oil on your hands, olive oil on the counter. This is gonna be like the Polish in the Polish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this, look at this, look at this. 100%. Woo. It's like liquid but it doesn't stick in your hands. That's insane, I'm, I'm excited. But look at this, we are pulling the dough like glue. That's how, <laughs> it looks like, like water. But I can tell you right now that we are able to make the, probably we're able to make the pizza. I mean, did you see this? That's final dough, let's take it out. That's the gluten structure right here. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we want to build a perfect pizza dough. So in this case, we don't want to wait at all. Try to make a ball really quick. Wait right there one second. Let's grab the dough boxes. A little bit of uh, olive oil on your hands again. And uh, let's make the ball right away on this one, the 100%. So here we're going to make a ball about 300 grams. So I'm going to get a little bit of difficulty here to make uh, this dough. But we're going to make it happen. Voila, we got the dough ball. Let's close it right away and then put on top inside the container. Boom, voila, we got 100% done there. Then we get the 85%, come right here and make the dough ball. Definitely, it's much more stronger. We are putting about 290 grams of dough. Like you can see, it's, it's strong and much easier to work compared to the 100. So let's put this one right here. Now let's get the 75% already. This one, no, no need of olive oil. And uh, let's make it. Wow, it's, I think this is gonna be the perfection one. 75, 65%, guys, like you can see, way too easy to work. And it's hard to break, boom. That's it, this was easy, boom. Let's put right here. Here we go, so now we're gonna close it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wait one hour. This way we're going to see the difference between all of these. And one hour is passed by, I wanna show you all the differences how the dough grow together. Like you can see here, we got, look at this. Definitely you, are, you can see the, the difference. So look how dry is the, the 65%. Then we have 75%, which is a little bit more soft. It's still compact. Then we have the oh, 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 85%, still uh, workable. And then we have 100%, which is uh, really hard, but we're gonna try to make this happen at the end of this video. So, voila, look at this, the difference. And now that we made uh, the 65%, the 75% and the 85%
we're ready to see what's going on with this 100% pizza dough. I mean, take a look. It looks like the, how liquid it is, insane. Definitely we need a lot of flour to be able to take it out. So let's try to take it off, detach, and then I'm putting the flour under. How it goes, one, two, three. Okay, we did it. The first step. It's gonna be super complicated to work. Oh my God, cannot really touch it too much. So I'm gonna try to take off as much flour that I can. Gently, I press, that's it. I'm gonna take off all the flour, press more. Of course, I'm gonna go gentle. And then I put the top part on the bottom. Wow, I made it, I made it. I'm gonna make it small, this way I can make it bigger later. So at this point, we're gonna go super fast, so I don't have no time to do it. Basil, like the same way how we did the others. And then fresh mozzarella. There we go, done. And then olive oil, guys, I'm really making this pizza super fast. So flour, 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 and then one shot. Trust me, you need to be super, I think super professional to make this pizza. I'm gonna go fast in the oven. Really quick. One shot. Boom. Voila. Whew, we made the 100%. So now what we're looking for is that the pizza starts to pop, hopefully, but probably yes, because it's so much water. And then I wanna see the color. This is a really big test that I never did it before. What we're looking now, the pizza is, uh, is not getting uh, puffy, it's not getting uh, nice and brown, it's taking longer than the others because uh, the water is too much. So uh, it, because it's too much, the water is uh, evaporating even outside the, the, the crust, like you can see, is getting, uh, uh, it's like kind of uh, way too soft. So we're gonna get the, my explanation at the end when uh, this pizza is ready. Here we go. Here we go, the pizza, it's ready. Ooh, so-so, mm. so-so, the look is so-so. <laughs> it come out crunchy, even, ooh. The cook, it's really cooked. This is, I guess, I, we made 100% pizza dough, <laughs> insane. So let's go, let's cut it and let's see the inside. So look at this. Yeah, definitely we have uh, all, it looks like it's uh, water inside. That finally we made 100. For this, you need to smash that like. Okay guys, now it's your turn to decide in comment which one you like, the 65% crunchy pizza, very easy to work, 75% my favorite pizza, soft and crunchy at the same time, 85% soft pizza, and uh, 100% pizza dough. Super, super soft. It's like drinking in water. Comment below what do you think, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next one. Ciao.